F11S 4K Pro Instruction Video Frequency Alignment Method Turn on the power of the remote control. Put the aircraft on the horizontal surface. Turn on the power of the aircraft. All red indicators on the aircraft arms start slowly flashing to enter the frequency, matching status automatically. Wait for about 40 seconds, the white light on the front of the aircraft and the blue light will flash slowly, and the linking is successful. Turn on the Wi-Fi function from the setting of the mobile device. Connect it to the Wi-Fi and enter the app. Compass calibration. Push the joysticks into the 1 and 11 o'clock position. Let's rapid linking blue and red back and white and red front. The app shows the status compass calibration. Pick up the aircraft from the back and rotate your body in one circle, 360 degrees. Now the rear blue and red lights turn on. From the bottom, hold the aircraft vertically and camera is facing to the sky, rotating your body in one circle, 330 degrees. Now the front white and red lights turn on. Put the aircraft back to the horizontal surface. Now the front white lights and the rear blue lights start flashing quickly to search the GPS signal. Unlock the motor. Push the remote control throttle lever to the 5 o'clock position and the direction lever to the 7 o'clock position. The motor will automatically unlock and start. Repeat the above steps and the motor stops working. When GPS signal is pulled and the aircraft needs to take off, you can press the speed switch button on the remote control for 3 seconds to turn off the GPS mode and enter the altitude mode. It is defaulted as beginner mode at the first flight. Refer to the manual instruction for detailed operation. Basic operation instructions. Simultaneously pushing the left and right joystick on the remote control to start the motors. Push the left joystick takeoff, aircraft takeoff, or click the takeoff icon on the app screen of the mobile phone to take off or land the aircraft. High speed, medium speed, low speed switch to operate the aircraft freely. Press the photo button on the remote control gently or click the photo button on the app interface. Now the photo indicator on the screen of the remote control will flash once. That means it takes one photo. Click the recording button on the remote control or click the recording button on the app. Now the recording indicator on the remote control will keep flashing. That means it starts recording. Original photos and videos will be saved on the SD card. Gently pressing the SD card and you can take it out from the card slot. When the SD card is inserted into the aircraft, card capacity and card remaining capacity will be displayed on the app interface of the mobile phone. Clicking the SD card icon, it will prompt to format the SD card. This is the instructional video about the first flight of F11S 4K Pro. Thanks for watching.